Hey everybody, today I'm talking about my most anticipated games for 2020. Now, the information about these games is pretty limited at this point, so, um, you know, they're just games that piqued my interest, either, you know, about the theme or the designer or the uh, mechanisms and stuff like that. So, um, they're not in a particular order, but I've just gone through on what's piqued my interest at the most. So, I've got eight games, but uh, let's get started. So, uh, at number eight, I have Totemic. Um, now, this is um, by Colossal Games. It's already been launched on Kickstarter um, successfully. Um, it's a uh, two-player game, and it's a little dueling-style game. So, um, not usually my bag, but this one kind of has piqued my interest because it's very self-contained. Um, the art approach is uh, really quite interesting and unique. Um, it's got this very much abstract, like, whitewash or white or black-on-white kind of design. Um, and you're just basically playing cards at each other, you know, managing your hand. I think there's a bit of memory and stuff like that that goes into it. And I think you're just dueling each other, trying to uh, play the cards as best as you can. But um, yeah, it definitely looked interesting. It's a small style game and um, it was fairly cheap as well. So um, I think it could be a bit of a sleeper hit. So that's Totemic. At number seven, I have Perseverance uh, Castaway Chronicles. Now, uh, this looks like a pretty involved game. There's a lot going on in it. It's got Euro-style mechanisms in it, such as dice drafting, dice placement. I got your worker placement. But what really grabbed my attention is the theme about it. Um, because the game is basically based on a, um, I think it's like a cruise liner that's got stranded on this island. But it's like a prehistoric island where there's dinosaurs. And you're basically setting up a whole like kind of colony to try to survive. And um, eventually using the dinosaurs and stuff to your benefit. Uh, it just sounds really cool. I think there's almost uh, a story kind of to it as well, where not like a legacy style manner, but one kind of story, um, you know, impacts upon the next and you can kind of play them in your order and just tell a, an overall story arc. So uh, normally I'm not that interested in theme in games, but this one definitely did pique my interest because it does sound really cool. And that, you know, hand in hand with the Euro mechanisms, just it just sounds like my uh, cup of tea. So uh, that's Perseverance uh, Castaway Chronicles. At number six, I have uh, Mercado de Lisboa. Now, um, this is by Vital Lacerda, uh, which is a designer I'm not overly keen on because I think he kind of over convolutes games. But this one has piqued my interest because it's a filler game. Uh, takes 15 to 30 minutes to play, and it has tile placement in it. So I'm just absolutely fascinated on what Vital is going to do um, for a game of this, um, you know, of this short time frame. Um, definitely has um, piqued my interest to see what he's going to do. Um, and I just, I, I'm hoping that it still has the, you know, the meaty decisions of a Vital, Vital Lacerda Vital game, but without the, um, you know, without the stuffiness and being bogged down in rules. So uh, that's Mercado de Lisboa. At number five, I have Trois Dice. Uh, now, this is a roll and write game um, based on the Twa um, IP. So, um, Twa is one of my favorite Euro games. So, for a roll and write to have the pedigree of Twa behind it um, naturally piqued my interest. Um, I think from the uh, description of the game, you're pretty much doing the same things as you are in the board game um, in terms of building the cathedral and using your merchants and um, stuff like that. But yeah, it's it's. Um, for a roll and write game with the Twa, um, you know, the Twa theme on it, uh, you know, you can, the normally it takes less than half an hour to play, rules overhead's low, and um, it can play on the, on the BGG um, description, it plays up to 10 players, which is also cool. So yeah, I'm interested to try this one. That's Twa Dice. At number four, I have Venice. Now, uh, Venice, again, is a, another Kickstarter game that was launched uh, in 2019, but for due for a 2020 release. Uh, this one, you are navigating around the canals of Venice, um, collecting different resources and um, dropping them off at other people. So it's got a bit of pick up and deliver, a bit of kind of network and route building. But it also has this cool idea where um, if you go past other gondolas, because everybody has a, I think it's a pair of gondolas, um, you kind of build up suspicion on yourself as pe people gossip about you. And I think the twist on the game is the person with the most kind of, um, you know, corruption or, you know, the the gossip about you is going to automatically lose the game. So you're going to have to, you know, sacrifice uh, maybe going to the places you want to go in fear of being gossiped about, which it just sounds cool. I like the kind of intrigue feel of it. It looks quite nice. And um, I believe um, David Turtsey is involved and I kind of like what he does. Um, and it's from Braincrack Game as well, which I kind of like what they're putting out. So that's, um, that's Venice. 
At number three, I have Dice Realms. Now, this is one of the games I probably know the least about, but it is um, touted as being a um, basically a, a dice building game where you have these dice with removable faces. And the game says you it comes with 650 different dice faces as you are, I guess you kind of build your engine up, replacing more kind of primitive dice faces with more advanced ones to get you more bonuses. Um, there was a game on this from a couple of years ago called Dice Forge. It was a very family weight game, but I just love the idea of crafting your dice, um, you know, to your needs and, you know, rolling them to get, to get more and more resources and cater to your own strategy. Um, it's just an idea that I think is absolutely fascinating and I'm interested to see where a heavier game can take that mechanism. Um, so yeah, so, so interested in this one and um, I'm hoping it can be as good as I think it can. So that is Dice Realms. At number two, I have My City. Now, um, this one is by Rainer Knizia, who is one of my favorite designers. Um, he's been around for donkey's years and released hundreds and hundreds of games, but this one is his first legacy game. And not only is it a legacy game from the name of the game, My City, it's also a city building game. So a city building game that's a legacy element to it by Rainer Knizia, that just sounds absolutely amazing to me. Um, I hope that he can um, do something different with the legacy theme and take it to places where no one else has. Um, it just sounds absolutely fascinating. There's very limited information about it, but just those three things alone have just, um, you know, made me really excited for this one. And I'm just interested to see what approach he takes. So that is my city. And finally, at number one, I have Tech Henu uh, or Tech Henu. That is um, another Euro style dice drafting game by Daniele Toshini, um, who is my favorite designer at this point. He um, tends to release a, star, a game like this every year. Um, last year we had Just Magistus, the year before that we had um, Teiwa Teiwa Khan, and we've had Sulkin, and every one of those games has been absolutely brilliant. Um, so this one, naturally my instincts or my, my anticipation is sky high, and my expectations are sky high, because every game has just knocked out of the park so far. Again, very limited knowledge about this one, but just the pedigree of the designer and the line of games. Uh, this one is by um, uh, NSKN, or I, I believe they've changed the name to Board and Dice now. Um, so yeah, everything they put out I've loved. So this one um, is just a no-brainer instant buy for me. Um, so yeah, with the Egyptian theme as well, which is, is quite interesting. So that's just eight games that I've been, um, you know, just have piqued my interest uh, that are due for release next year. Um, I said, I'm sure there's going to be a ton more that have not even um, come to the surface yet. But, you know, already it's got me excited with this limited knowledge and I can't wait to see what the year brings. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you have, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Um, you can also support me on a Patreon and um, follow me on Instagram as well. Um, I'll put the links below. So uh, for everyone else, I'll see you next time on Chairman of the Board. Bye.